Recently at Stamford Bridge, it's felt like the old Morrison's revolving door. Managers coming in and out. All right, special night I spent with your mum. With managers like Lampard, Tuchel, Potter all shown the door. Potts by mutual consent. You dodged a bullet there, Mauricio. But there's a new man in charge. Italian who's hot off winning the championship. He's clearly found his level with the Blues. Enzo Maresca in this rebel, being in the glory days back to Chelsea. I'll drop a couple bangers here, a couple naughty ones that you should expect to see in this one. Now you've got to say that this Chelsea side is more stout than that loaf of bread that you'll find at the back of your nan's cupboard. Some disasters in the first 11 and some exceptional talent left to rot away on the bench. Yeah, yeah, that looks a lot better than it shags. But let's do what Tom Bowley does best. Nah, no, not digging for gold and then snacking on it. They spend a little bit of cash then, son. But before we do any of that to comply with FFP, basically Buzzco's realism app, link in the description as always. We needed to get a few lads shipped on. And as always, looking for Chelsea rejects. United are at hand. First on the chopping block is Gallagher. Jesus Christ, imagine a midfield of Mount and Connor. All the vibes, none of the football. We also have to say goodbye to one of our 14,000 centre-backs. Honestly, more back at this club than I've seen at an Ice Spice gig. But as we say sayonara, Duke, to one of them, we bring in someone who's just going to have a little bit more presence at the back, tossing. Look at the size of him. He'd make Peter Crouch look like Jedran Shakiri. Now, it has been said that ever since they lost Courtois, the keeper situation has looked shakier than me on an England game come down. Beer, spirits, curries, and that filthy stuff. But Diogo Costa should hold down that position throughout. Maresca thought he was looking in a mirror. Or oh, is it his long lost dad? But bringing in that marauding left back to take over for Cook and Chile. It's an Italian stallion. Biragi strikes a mean dead ball as well. But the wingers in this Chelsea side are yet to come of age. Mudrick still looks like a bird going through puberty. And Madaweke just acts like one. But I tell you what, Bakayoko will just add sheer pace and directness to our wing play. And then last of all, not least, looks bound to happen in real life. Dracula, look at him boxing in. Comes in looking for compensation. Enzo refused the soul of his firstborn child. But Unai has settled for 20 big ones for the Dark Destroyer. Chondoran. That cause problems, eh? He doesn't know what he's going to do with the ball most of the time, let alone the defenders. So with the squad shaping up very nicely, drop a like on this video if you could see Chelsea lining up like this next season. So going into our first season at Chelsea, Enzo and the boys in a transition period, looking to secure their place back in Europe. I tell you what, it's going to be a sticky one with defending like this. But Gusto whipping balls into the back stick beats Rodak beats Palmer. But it's Mudrick to sneak in behind. Penetrate deep. God, I still think he looks like a 12-year-old girl. That was a really too poor choice of sentences to push together there. And then to seal all three in our first game, it's the winger on the opposite side. Lends the ball to Nkungu, gets it back, and it's absolute national slottery. Remember when I said Baraji could strike a mean dead ball? Well, I literally would let him strike my balls. God, he's got to work for Royal Mail, because that's absolute postage. But big bumbo class bliff swings the ball over to Bogle. God. Could have been a ball buster. Next up then was Wolves and Fernandez rips one, but it's muddy on the gobble job. But minutes later, it's Baddy Yashile with a little bit of afters on McGregor. Gives them a route back into this game and we share the spoils. Man City may be a step too far for us at this point. Costa was on smoke for the first five minutes, but it was a matter of time until we got walked through like your local park. Check it off, lads. Everton up next and Duran causing problems. Thankfully, at the right end, sneaks in and spanks one. One thing we haven't seen too much of this in this first season is Cole Palmer turning people into garden gnomes. Closer shave than your mum's nan on Pico's bar. But not long after that, it's Cole Will with Technique. They get a 10 from Len. Take me on a little damn with that one. I've never seen a more beautiful bicycle. Another star man who struggled a little bit earlier on in this season is on Kunku. 
Get your feet under the table, so and stick the ball into that top binza. But it was over to Villa Park for the next one, and it was bloody written. Top of geezer that would go full Adibayor and run the length of the pitch to celebrate in front of the Villa fans. I'll defo throw a chair. Maybe even my firstborn son at him. But then the final game of these highlights up against Arsenal, who'd already qualified for Champo back at Yoko. Denied by a great stop from Rambo. Nicholas Jackson couldn't finish reading a top sticker book. Feels like a double agent. But as this delivery gets swung in, Amazon delivery driver is writing out, sorry we missed you, note. But Bakayoko says return to sender. Caught it like a bad case of crabs. God, it must sting twice as much. So as we go into the last game of the season, we are level on points with United. But they've got Brighton. And we've got Bournemouth. So our strongest side out there. Costa in goal, Gusto, Adi Rabio, Cole Will and Biragi at the back. James centre defensive midfield. With Casado and Fernandez as a midfield too. And then up front, we've got Cole Palmer, Bakayoko. And the Dark Destroyer, John Duran. To secure Europa League football. Let's get at it. Alright then, Chelsea. Well, European football confirmed. But we don't want to be messing with a Conference League, do we? It's all eyes on the Europa. Man United, only team to stand in our way. We're level on points with them at the minute. But a superior goal difference means we need to better the result of the Red Devils. But if anyone can do it, it can be our blues this season. Showed a little bit of it, but there's a lot more to comment there, boys. Come on, then. Let's get this done dusted today against Bournemouth, sitting in seventh. Jesus Christ, how on earth are Bournemouth sat in seventh? Oh, is that Brighton? Is that Brighton going 1-0 up, I see? Well, it could be. I don't know, because it was in Chinese. Oh, Ooh, it's almost Bournemouth going 1-0 up. What are we doing here, lads? What are we doing, eh? Go on, Nicole. Get us ticking. Get us moving. Get us grooving. What a ball that is. Oh, my God, what a ball that is. Don't mess this up, then, boys. Don't mess this up, then, boys. Duran! Oh, my God, he's hungry like a bloody wolf, and we're hungry for top... Well, not top spot. You know what I mean. Top five spot. It's, it's whatever. I'll get things wrong now and then again, but I'll tell you what wasn't wrong. That pass by Cole Palmer. The little lift over the top from Bakayoko in the devilish little finish from Duran Duran. Come on, boys. What a great start that is. Someone get on the bike. Duran Duran's gone. Can he cause problems? Oh, what a great touch from Darun. Scott. Semenyo is going to try and push it and go. It's a great tackle, though. Honestly, I love... Oh, no. Who now? Who now's fired one in? Oh, no. I thought I'd got that. I was literally so chill about it as well. Oh, you little shitbag, who now? He's been playing unbelievable this season. I think he's, like, up there, top goal scorers. Oh, and he's got one against us as well, you little mug. Great little switch. Cole. On your bike. Cause problems. Well done, Cole. Strike. Strike it! Oh! So close, Cole Palmer. Trying to reach James's feet and we go then. Something's happening here. I can feel it. I can feel it. Come in. In the back post. Where Duran is. Oh, young up as well. Come on, Madrid. Right. All three of you. God, this has been a dead game. Jesus. Oh, Fernandez, gotta get, gotta get that better. Gotta get that better. Right into the ninety then. If we've got anything about us in this last minute. Oh, what a save! Oh my God, get it out! Oh no, we could have lost it. We've drawn. But what does that mean? I don't know what it means. I think United went 1-0 down, but I didn't see anything else. Does that mean we've got top five? We look buzzing, but the players look gutted. I don't know what that means. Let's go and have a look. I, I can't. Jesus Christ. 
Looks like these lot have won the frigging title. Right. Man United lost! That means... It's got to mean... It's got to mean... It does mean top five. We've snuck it. We've absolutely, by the hairs on my bally ball balls, absolute snatch and grab jobby. Oh, that's class. Europa League next season then, boys. Well, with all that being said, let's get into it. So, skin of the teeth stuff, successful season one. On to season two. So with this team now looking to compete on all fronts, we've got the lamb vindaloo. It's time for the chili chips and the fish bakora. And with a fat stacker man coming back in, we've got to start clearing the table before we start welcoming in the sides. And I tell you what, with the deadwood, there's a lot of money to be gained, you know. Sanchez is first, followed out of the club by Chilwell. And then the ball really starts rolling, Andre Santos. Amari Hutchinson linking up with Ronaldo, Mark Kukurea, little traitor. Lukaku and Ziyech, all on the chopping block. But our first signing is a real Rolls Royce, a centre-back that's able to pass like a mum of three, answering questions on the chase. It's Pear Scherz coming in from Italian side Torino for 32 on the button. Then to work alongside him, a man with potential in absolute shed loads. Probably hiding most of it under that bloody moped. Scalvini from Atalanta. 45 mil is a steal. But then to add something a little bit different to this side, up the other end of the pitch, a man who I've been itching like a junkie on a come down to pick up. It's Victor coming in. Big money move to compliment John Duran up front. Once again, 65 mil looks like bargain booze. Now, because we lost Casado to Villa, we've had to bring in two new midfielders. One starter, Matt O'Reilly, followed in by Manu Kone, who's just going to sit behind him on the bench. But with business done, and Jesus Christ, what an amount of business that has been. These boys are ready to get on it. Let's have a butchers at what they can do then. Because first stop, big test. It's up against the Scousers with expectations running high for this man. Well, we needed to see what 65 million gets you in today's market. And well, his first attempt was wetter than my mattress after a night with your mum. But then after his second, I had to check myself. I thought I was. Costa once again proving why we spent big money on him early doors. Protects the goal like a jealous boyfriend, babe. Salah doesn't want to be friends, he just wants to put balls in holes. But after a moment of madness from the most Scottish Argentinian we've ever seen, it's Ice Cold Palmer. Slottingham Hotspur. But after that, it was an absolute onslaught that we just couldn't hang on to. Hakan draws them level. Next, it was on to the Palace Meadow Crystal. Jefferson Lerma clearly fancied a bath rather than a shower. Got time for a soak, mate. Get the candles out. Get the incense burning. It'll be a real lovely experience. Now on to a man who's wrestled back that captain's armband, Rhys James. Puts it all on the line to keep out Schick. And then almost catches the Palace keeper napping. But only minutes later, it's Victor Jacarez picks the ball up. Says, Rhys, I'll show you how it's done, son. We're going to have to start calling this man Gandalf. Because he's able to produce a little bit of magic. Says to the keeper, you... Shall not keep that one out. The Leeds goal in the opening exchanges here getting peppered like a nice little bit of filet mignon. But it's the delicate touch of Victor once again to unlock that Yorkshire backline. With the hammers coming to the bridge next stop, Unkunku's effort is pushed away by the former Chelsea man. But it's Lucas Paqueta to find the bottom corner with an absolute arrow. But minutes later, Fernandez has spread a lovely cushion from Bakayoko, and I'll tell you what, call him Swati O'Reilly! Leaves Petrovic in the West Ham goal, bamboozled like a chav doing his GCSE resits. But it's Kudu up with a dirty little double, second one pick of the bunch. But that means we need someone to pull something out of the bag, and the team up by their bootstraps. It's Matty once again, shakes one. Been taking it to Zumba classes? Oh, it's just a shame that two of the best goals of the season means nothing. 
clearly touched a nerve with Matty though. Sends Kudus back to Amsterdam. And he wanted to send Sue Fowl to Scotland Yard with him. Don't worry, son. The Met are on the way. GBH. Leicester back in the Prem and back out once again. Slapping one back in from the corner. Almost on the 18 before the keeper decided to dive. But it's Cole with a fantastic little bit of centre forward play. Turn the defenders into an idiot Sando. Matty makes it two minutes later and the only player on the Leicester team who looked capable of causing us problems was Mavadidi. But Scalvini wasn't playing about. Absolutely confiscated his ankles. And then NDD. Mavadidi sent that. Pulls one back but it's Victor once again nods it into seal all three. Over to United for a massive game in the Prem as Gok slips between the defenders like a lubed up rubber glove. Oh, no, no, don't forget to squat down and cough for us, son. You've dropped a bollock there. But in Europa, 1-0 down to Benfica, but it's kitchen sink. Jobby as Baka shaves the outside of the post. Gox stings the tips with the header, but it's the Matty O'Reilly show. Spreads it like your mum's legs, and Kunko picks it up like, well, your mum at your local. And then he slaps one into the gaping hole of, well, you, you get it by now, didn't you? From provider to scorer, it's Matt in the underside of the bar and out. Always looks a bit sexual when it does that, doesn't it? In the next round, we come up against Fiorentina and this Anzola chap causing us absolute sleepless nights. But at the other end, the former shot stopper, Sanchez, having the game of his life like a Tory MP at the White Cliffs of Dover. Sorry, son, you can't come in. Turn that boat around and start paddling. But as the minutes wind down, it's going to take something special to break the deadlock. Bouncing ball, I tell you what. You can bounce all over my missus. Give him keys to the city. He's got the keys to my heart. Matteo O'Reilly sends Fiorentina crashing out of the competition. And is that a tent? Or are you happy to see me? Nah, mate, it's just a semi. Delicious little ball into the box causes bedlam. Bless him, keeper. It's like an old dear nan talking to an Indian Charlie Smith on the phone about that there's a virtual pigeon in her account. We need your sort code, your account number and your dog sister's maiden name. Nico Williams replies minutes later, but if it wasn't for Costa Bill Bow would have been out of sight. Two corner goals minutes apart means that it's all to play for in the final minutes of extra time. But it's Mudrick. He picks the ball up deep in his half. And he's just got one thing on his mind. Lends the ball to Duran. And with just Vivian Westwood to beat, he's wrapped her up in a nice little ball ground. The bell of the ball, Mikhailo Mudrik, slams it past Simon to send the Blues through to the Europa League final. <laughs> now with Champions League football secured, there's just one little bit of silver left for the boys to get their hands on. They could be little mitts. It's the Dudley, the Dudley, the Dudley, the Dudley, the Gobbo Josie. Couple key man missing for the final, but it's a good, strong old squad. It's Gusto right back with Scherz, Cole, Will, and Martson. Costa playing in goal, of course. Fernandez, Kone, and O'Reilly in midfield. And Kunku right. Akayoko left, and up front, it's Gokwan. Come on, the boys. Let's get this silver. Right then, after coming close in the league, closer than the hairs on my chinny chin bollocks, I tell you what, the boys have got a chance here to close the season out with an absolute bang. And you know what? We love a bang here. We love a good bang, don't we? Come on, the blues. Let's get a little bit of silver down us. Let's get into it then. Against Ajax, missing a couple, a couple important man out there. But we've got enough to get it over the line, haven't we, boys? Come on. Didn't know where to go with it, does it? Keep that ball. Well done. Right, can we find? Cheers. Knock it down. Into him, he's done. Yes, lovely little bit of willing cut play, lovely little bit of working, and it's Jokeres to get us 1 0 up in this final. Absolutely massive, lovely little bit of play. We didn't rush it, we didn't get too concerned the fact that it didn't seem to be opening up. Because I tell you what, 
Ajax have just opened up like the legs on a little bit of Totti after she's come back from bottomless brunch. Good pressure. Good pressure, boys. Well done. Unreal. Unreal. Fernandez is going to hit one. Oh, almost caught him out. Justo. With Sosa. Just stand him. Just stand him. Just have him there. Oh, no. He's kept that. How has he kept it? Should never have. Can't have. Don't do it. Get it away. Ah! Oh, what a save. Oh, my God. I, I, didn't have, I didn't have any any words in my head. Let's get this away then, just before half time. Nothing silly. Get it gone. Get it gone. Well out. Follow it out. Follow it. Well done, boys. God knows how we've gone in at the break. 1 0 up. They should have definitely scored that. They've absolutely squandered one there. Oh, almost nicked it. Hendo. Doesn't want it. He's absolutely bodied Matt O'Reilly, though. Danger now, though. Danger now then! Oh, it's fallen so nicely for him, but they don't deserve it at all. What a joke. Gotta be smart, I think now then, boys. We've got to be clever with this game. We've got to see it out. Into Bergwies. With Martson. No, it's Marts. Nah! How? Again, never been. Absolutely never been. Let's get this gone. Let's get this out. Oh no! Oh, snatch that! Oh no! Snatched it. Well done. Class. And see, hey, Medaweke was going to go there. It's another half an hour. Oh, we don't deserve this, boys. We don't deserve to be going in one all. Ball out. Ball out. We go then. Mudrick, we know we've got pace. But also, if you can find Jokeres, referee, that's cynical. That is cynical. It's got to be a red card. Denying a clear goal-scoring opportunity. Because you know, if you stick Jokeres through one-on-one, -on -one, it's guaranteed goals. Oh, Madueke. Can find him. Jokeres. Got to finish it. Oh, the little key pops. The little one-two. Great. Oh no, give the ball away. Straight to Hendo. It's Hendo. Oh, it's a big save. I did not want Hendo to be the match winner. Oh, I did not want it. Right. We've got a change coming. I think I've just made a very, very silly change because Forbes is going to be cocking this geezer down the left-hand side. Ball in. Get it gone. What a save. What a save. I don't know how he's bent his net like that. It was like your mom last Saturday night. Outward with Forbes. Danger. Oh, I knew it was going to be danger. Oh, my God. Almost an OG. No, no, no. That might have been last chance. Get the ball. Get the ball one last time. Get this ball one last time. Get it out. Oh, oh no. Not a free kick there. Not Sotalo. Get on that line. Oh, he's absolutely spooned it. Jesus Christ. Penos it is then. This is where we are, lads. This is where we are. Jokeres to step up first. You bet your dog on him. You bet your family dog on him. And I tell you what, we'll have to put him down. Forbes. Stends it. Sends him. Right. The Italian stallion. Stick it in for me. Big penalty. Big penalty. Constant Shao, whatever his name is. Oh, he's done him as well. Shit. Right, Enzo. You want to be lifting this, don't you, son? You want to be lifting this trophy? Oh, he almost got there. Akpom. Can't score in the championship. Can slot away a penalty, though, the little mug. Right, Mado AK. It's a great pen. It's a great penalty. It's a great penalty. Right. Rich off. Save! Oh, no. I genuinely thought he'd saved it. Oh, if we miss this, then. If La Capitana can't stick this away. 
We're done, so. It's not a great penalty. It's not a great penalty, but it's cool as you like. Come on, then. Costa, save this one for me. Sanchez has been on fire today. Save this. Yes! What a great save. Right, we're back. Evens. Even Stevens. Mudrick. Stick this away for me. Stick it away for me. Get in, Muddy. Get in the lad. Right. A double save. A Michael Dublé, if you will. An absolute dirty little double. Costa. Ah, oh, he sent. Stinked it as well. Carney. He's going to finish it. He's got to finish it. Well done, son. Right, we're back down to it. Costa. All the pressure on a via. Can we sink him? Come on, then. Yes! Costa's done it! Get in the boy. From the absolute depths of hell. He's pulled us out of the fire. Costa. Hands. Safer than Fort Knox. And I tell you what. This little bit of silver is in safe hands, lads. Don't you worry about it. The Blues will love, will cherish it. And it's our first little bit of silver of this career mode. Getting the boys. Just what I want to see. Just what we needed to end off Season 2. Before we go into the Champions League. So you might as well leave it on a high, eh? Now with Season number 2 in the books... But only one piece of silver in the cabinet. There's definitely more work to be done here at Chelsea. But with us finishing second in the league. Winners of the Europa. And also Champions League football to come. That of course means we're going to have a lot more money to spend. And superstars are going to be chomping at the bit. Frothing at the gash to get into Chelsea Football Club. And that's where you lot come in. I need you lot for episode 2 to tell me who we should be bringing in. Now with all that being said, geezers, that is going to be the end of part 1, part 2 coming next weekend. But as always, I need you geezers to make sure that you follow me on all different socials. And as well, I've got to tell you, we've launched a Discord. A place where you lot can talk to me. Vote on what we should be doing next and just generally chat about the CMK channel and the world of football. All of that will be linked in the description down below. So get yourself signed up and come over and have a bit of a chin wag. But that's it for the episode for today, geezers. Once again, thank you so much for sticking around. Drop a like on this video if you haven't already and make sure that you subscribed if you are new around these parts. Get down in the comments section and tell me who I should be rebuilding next and players who we should be signing for next episode. I'll see you next week for part two. It's much love from me. Yeah. Peace.